One of the technologies that we use at Caring Medical is called Digital Motion X-ray. Digital Motion X-ray is a great method to document cervical instability. It's actually a fluoroscopic X-ray that is taken while the patient moves their neck. Here I'm using the Digital Motion X-ray as a fluoroscopic unit to do injections of this particular patient who has upper cervical instability. I'm talking about C1 and C2 instability. There's not a disc between the occiput and C1 and there's not a, a intervertebral disc between C1 and C2. It means that a lot of the motion, especially the no motion when you're nodding your head no, occurs between the C1 and C2 area. So anyone who's had a jolt of the neck often can be left with C1 and C2 instability. Here you're seeing me do the injections, but in this next clip, you actually see what I see. So there I'm on the C2 vertebrae. So you can see that it's very easy to put the solution right onto the C1 and C2. Prolotherapy under fluoroscopy can be very effective, especially at helping the very difficult cases. That last x-ray clip was on C1, so you can see that you can easily do C1 safely under fluoroscopy, especially in those cases where you believe the person has C1 or C2 instability. Anyone who has really severe uh, suboccipital or migraine headaches, as well as patients who have vertigo or tinnitus ringing in the ears, it could possibly be from C1 instability. Here you see the needle, the prolotherapy needle on C1. C1 instability I think is a lot more common than people believe it is and digital motion x-ray is one way to document it. Here I'm finishing up the C1, C2 treatment on this particular patient and she's had a great response with prolotherapy. Here I'm continuing uh, the treatment. This particular patient beside vertigo, tinnitus, and suboccipital and migraine headaches is suffering from scalp tingling, racing heart, labored breathing, as well as jaw pain, and a host of other autonomic nervous system problems that are from her cervical instability. She's had great resolution of a lot of her symptoms from prolotherapy, especially prolotherapy done under fluoroscopy, specifically that I can aggressively do the C1 area. And you can see this patient's not moving a lot, even though it's a lot of injections, it's uh, very easily tolerated and uh, it can be thoroughly done uh, in an office setting. I work with an assistant during uh, this procedure and uh, the post-operative uh, care of the client is uh, actually pretty minimal. Sometimes we do have them use a cervical collar. See, in this particular patient, there's a solution there that uh, has a red solution in it. Well, this particular patient, we're using stem cells. I'm actually doing a type of stem cell prolotherapy onto the C1, C2 area. I'm doing it under fluoroscopy, uh, and this particular patient, as I said, has done extremely, extremely well and is making a good and quick recovery. <laughs>